All right, we're starting off with Godskin Dew. We got a plus 25 torch, bunch of random talismans. I tried one attempt. I realized that uh, <laughs> pretty quickly I was going to need to get some extra healing stuff. Um, Here we are. This delightful mess of a fight. I use the term delightful loosely. You've heard about this boss? I'm sure you've heard nothing good about this boss. At best that they exist. Yikes. Heavy armor, by the way. They could get the defensive tier, I just don't know where you get it. That's the only thing. Because the problem is I kill every boss, right? So... Eventually I just have it. In New Game Plus, but I don't actually know where you get it. Charge our twos are the way. Okay, this is good. Kind of. Can't really do anything here. I don't think I can reach him without getting hit. Yikes. Okay, hang on. Hold on. They just hit so hard. And this is such a bad weapon for this guy because it does fire damage and strike damage. Which are like two of the worst things you could do to the noble. Damn it. Yeah, I've used four flasks and I'm barely through this fight. Uh, through this one guy. Actually, we used three, I think, because I had 11? Or did I have 12? No, I had 12. I can kill him here. Hey, Sertita. What'd you miss? We finished up the Dark Moon Longbow. Now we're doing the worst fight for this run. That was way too close. I'm, I was too close to him. Thought I had more space there. Thank you. Now, if we get kind of lucky. Okay, well, I'm going to die immediately, I guess. I have to stagger this guy as he's summoning the noble. And if I do it too early, then everything sucks, basically. I just can't even hit him now. Great. Damn it. That sucks, man.
can't even see anything. Anyone know where the uh, defensive tier is for uh, the Physic? I can't think of which Earth Tree Avatar you get it off of. Only problem is it doesn't last that long. I could get the Health Regen Physic too. I think that's in Weeping. That would probably help a bit. This is fine, maybe. Oh, of course, I missed. Still a long way from over, though. Damn it. Too early on the stagger. Can maybe get another one. Nice. That's really good. This boss mandatory? Oh yeah. We have a chance now. Now nah, I get out of that. No, that's not good. Please stop rolling. He's still rolling. What's gonna happen? Nice. Still a chance. I got two heals and I got the icon shield, so I got passive healing. Is he rolling again? What the hell? I see doing it twice in a row. I mean, it gives me time to heal, I guess. Not rolling again, surely. That whiffed. Not even close. No oh, belly blast. Noble presence. Okay, good. One heal. Now I just gotta stun this guy when he's gonna summon the noble. Jesus Christ, man. Damn it. Might be enough, though. 
There we go. The rest of New Game should be easy compared to that. Torches are probably like the worst weapon you could use for Godskin Duo. Or endurance. Actually, no, I'm not gonna worry about endurance now. I think I'll just go strength. The floating shield. Nice. Use your twin blade. Anything is better than the torch. <laughs> the sentry's torch? That's probably gonna be like one of the worst Godskin Duo fights. Well, I don't know. They're both like fire and holy damage kind of deal the same amount. The problem, I think, is the strike damage, though. Well, it's it's all a problem. Like, fire damage obviously is a problem, but also the strike damage is very bad for the Godskin Noble. What was the other talisman I had on? Oh, I think it was Flame Drake. Yeah, I don't need that. That's the one fight, though, that I build for, like, every new game. Just stack health. Get as much health as you can for that fight and pray that you deal more than, like, 200 damage a hit. Right, I just leveled up. Because after that, it gets a lot better. Not that you can't die to the remaining bosses in New Game, but, you know, this is, it's the worst fight for a lot of reasons. Because <laughs> it's a gank fight, mainly. It's just a not so well thought out gank fight, in my opinion. It's very bad if you have low damage. But I'm happy we got through it there. That wasn't first try, was it? Today? Did I die before? I can't remember. I think I died once. Did I die once? I don't know. I died yesterday. It was faster than the steel wire torch. That was like almost 20 minutes, I think. Might have been 20 minutes. 20 minute fight. Can't remember. Luckily, there's only three more torches in this game after this. So even if they all got requested, there wouldn't be too many runs left like this. And the ghost flame torch, I don't think will be too bad. The other two, though. I don't think they really do anything for combat. Like, one repels beasts, the other repels or reveals invisible enemies and breaks illusory walls inside of one specific dungeon, one cave. So, like, they're not really that notable. Oh, the range on this thing, though, is not great. Blocking with a torch, not my finest moment. You've meant this guy? This is pretty spoilery, then. Okay, this is not going well, but I am not playing this well. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, how did that one miss? I know it's been out for a while, but sometimes people don't want to be spoiled on older games. get off of the bridge and come back to the main platform? Is that something you could do? Thank you. Keeps retreating, coward. Really?
pizza cutter after Elden Beast? I'm gonna do two hours of the torch run and we'll do the uh, pizza cutter. To kill what? Oh yeah, you got plenty of time. We're not gonna be on it for like another almost two hours. Two hundred forty k. Where do we stick it? Strength, I guess. Just get more damage. So we want to probably take this to at least forty, I'd say, for now. Stick it up your dot 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 dot. What a hurtful thing to say. So hurt. Gideon off near. Prison justice. Good old phalanx. Good old comet. No, stop, Gideon. I don't like that he can. He can. I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm alive. Run! Keep running. I'm so screwed here. Yikes. Okay, it doesn't do much damage if he doesn't debuff you, at least. Ah! Here we go. Stupid ring spamming. Oh my god, he almost beat me to death. I gotta watch out for this thing breaking. Okay, it rolled away, luckily. Gideon, stop! <laughs> you absolute bum. Hop, hop, hop. How can he even backstep that much? Oh, okay, it doesn't actually take that much stamina. Alright, last two bosses. Then we start. All bosses. More like Gideon, why are you letting me hit you? Sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he doesn't play nice. And then I get very angry. Okay, let's see. More strength. Easy. Easy choice. That's fire giant on this run? Um, I don't think it was too bad. It was a long fight, but not too bad. It's funny, whenever I use a fire weapon, I don't really notice much of a difference on fire giant. Oddly. Because it's just a long fight in general a lot of the time. Unless you have, like, bleed or frost. Gwyn? Nashandra? Sword Say Nation? Are we just saying random, uh... Final boss names. Ah, stop. If you're commenting on the fact that this is yet another old man at the end of the game, that is definitely an accurate observation. Dude, really?
Oh, he's standing on one leg. He means business. Ace two? Ace two? Thank you. Ah! Unlucky. Surprised that didn't hit me, honestly. Damn, still no, uh, stagger, huh? Oof. Nice. Take that. The would-be Elden Lord. Defeated by a torch. Hey, Tony. How you doing? Warrior. Does the shield do anything? It's passive health regen. It's not a ton, though. It's mainly like a, you know, a last resort, I guess, for gods can do them. It's really not that good. I mean, it's, it's, it's good if you know you're going to be in a fight for a long time. It can maybe save you, like, a heal. No, I guess it depends on how long the fight is. Ever wonder if the bosses look at your weapons and go seriously? That would be hilarious if they did. A torch? He's using a torch? Oops. A too aggressive. A ladle? Yeah, exactly. I would love some kind of meme, we meme weapon like that in the DLC. I don't know if they'll do it, though. A frying pan. We need a frying pan. This one sword hilt. Yeah, that's a rough weapon. Which I still gotta finish. I have not forgotten about it. But I haven't been on that run since before Christmas, I think. Elden Ring DLC will come and I'll be like, yeah, I still gotta finish that. See, got back to full health. Work hook. It was fun with mundane. Yeah, I guarantee I won't get mundane. <laughs> Can't be worse than the ladle, though. It actually scales with uh, decks, I think. Mundane in Dark Souls 2 is it's an infusion. It works very differently to uh, 
like any other infusion. Yeah, your weapon will scale with your lowest stat, basically. It basically, it kills your damage. I think it cuts your damage in half, like your base damage. And then it scales off your lowest stat. Or I guess it cuts your damage like a raw infusion, but... Raw doesn't give you much scaling. Like, theoretically, you could put 99 in everything and mundane would actually probably be decent. Maybe it wouldn't, I don't know. But if you did that for Rai, it wouldn't be as good. Is it broken for everything or just like specific weapons? Most weapons. Yeah, I haven't had a DS2 run on stream, though, in months at this point. Bone Fist, that was the last one. And that was probably before Christmas. Nice roll. That was good. Good roll. I didn't actually roll it. My finger kind of slipped off the button. This is like just about when he would do Elden Stars. Truly unfortunate timing. Oh. Man, that projectile attack's so bad. I feel like it's so hard to consistently not get hit. Is this going slow enough where we'll see another Elden Stars, I wonder? Because it feels pretty slow, but I feel like that's to be expected. It's a torch run. No second Elden Stars yet. Honestly, if he does Elden Stars again, he's probably going to die, so... It'll be fine. If he... Yeah, he's not going to even be able to do it. Alright, your game is done. Huh? 
323. Okay. I think that's not bad. For a torch run, anyway. Like, usually most weapons take me like three hours. A little under three, maybe. Depending, but... An extra hour for a torch, I'll take it. Especially with Godskin Duo, you know? Alright, no Journey 2 just yet. Got a level. And then we'll go to Journey 2. And start everything. Do more strength. Do I want to do more strength? Hmm. I could do endurance. That might be better. Get this to 50. I can probably take the sword seal off at this point. Unless I need the dex. Do I need dex for this thing? No. Okay. Sword seal can come off then. Let me see. I think there might be one more stone sword key I can get. Or not. That's fine. We have our torch, plus 25. I don't think there's really anything else we need to worry about here. So we're going to just jump right into New Game Plus. Journey 2. It's still light. It's just so weird. It being light. Draft Tion to start. Soldier Godric, also read a tree spear. Then we got a Weeping Peninsula. It's going to be interesting because we have the Giza wheel in a bit, right? I guarantee you. After to after Friday, I'll probably be. I think I'll be at the same point on both of these runs, and that runs like three hours behind. It's also gonna make Monday really confusing. Cause I'll well, not, maybe not confusing, but I'm gonna end up doing the same bosses like twice on two different runs. Come on. One day I'll learn how to fight this guy. Not today, though. You're back? Welcome back. Huh? What a hitbox that is. Lingering shield bash. didn't work. Can you just buff your weapon already? That works too. I don't really care how long that fight's as long- that long- <sighs> what did I just say? I don't care how long that fight takes as long as I don't die. It's the only thing that matters there. I think after these two runs, and these two Elden Ring runs, I don't think there's anything guaranteed to go, so we'll be back to rolling. Both of these runs are guaranteed runs, though. Hardest boss coming up. He's an intimidating figure, for sure. He's got a sword. He's got two hands on it. I mean, I just have a torch. It's gonna be a tough fight. He's got sword and wears a helmet, true. And armor. Give me a Noble Slender Sword. I don't actually know if you can get it from these guys. They have them, like they're using them, but I don't know if they'll drop it. Soldier of God, Rick. I missed. His range is better than mine. Very laggy here, what's going on? Are we in Stone Sword Keys? 15, all right, I need three more. I might end up using one or two for other various things though. Great enemy felled, what did it say? Just enemy? I still love that this could be like your first encounter before Limgrave. If you have the, if you take the Stone Sword Keys at the beginning of the game, you can come here and then this is what you run into, this chariot. And of course, on release, it did way more damage, so it was a lot scarier. Okay, I'm not making that. Am I even gonna make this? I'm gonna try. Oh yeah, that's easy. And then, if you make it through here, you know, having like pretty much no health, if you make it through this dungeon, there's another Grafton Scion in here, but like, you know, obviously the boss is the, the main thing. You gotta fight an Ulcerated Tree Spirit. Everyone's favorite boss. 
Or so I hear. I don't mind them, honestly. Anyone here ever play any Kingsfield games? I have never. When was the last Kingsfield game they made? Pre-Demon Souls, I imagine. Next time someone says they're a FromSoft fan, ask him to name every Kingsfield game. Blasto? I am not. Oh, one was the last Kingsfield game? Wow, further than I thought. Or longer, I guess. It's like pre-Gothic. out of here. Are these rocks? What are those things? What's my endurance out? I gotta check. Hang on. Let me get this first. Lost Grace discovered. Okay. Not... Actually, I could look there. 40. Okay. 40 with no source seal. So once I get that to 50, then what? They made 1 and 2 for the PSP in 06. What, they remade Kingsfield 1 and 2? I didn't realize it had been that long since a Kings, uh, Kingsfield game, though. I figured it was like mid to late 2000s would have been the last one. Which I guess they did for PSP, but like, I guess a new entry. Bloodhound Knight Darabil. This guy gets a name. Good for him. He gets a name and we don't. Well, we do, I guess. You name yourself, but... The best kind of right. The most satisfying. Oh, I finally hit a Char Char too. Missed like two or three of them. All right, we're going east, I believe. Where's the Spirit Spring? Right here. Can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to Giza's wheel, though. It's just going to be nice to not do a torch run or a whip run or a bow run. <laughs> Give me a normal weapon. It's gonna be a rough start though, I think. Except... Okay, level. Give me... I guess we just have one level. Endurance. By Melina. See, uh, in Lane Dell. Actually, she has to take me to the round table. Ask her that, Lane Dell. Whoa, what am I doing? Why am I doing that? Almost just leapt to my death. Probably don't need the Icon Shield. That's a little bit overkill, I'd say. Maybe for, like, later fights, like Rykard, it would be good. But for this, nah. I wonder if you get a good parry shield from anything, any bosses. Can't think of one. But I don't ever really pay attention to that stuff, so... Although I don't really feel like I need to parry on this run. I did that for, like, the whole St. Trina's Torch run, which was, like, two weeks ago. Is that two weeks ago? I don't remember what it was. Three weeks ago. Something like that.
Or Solmstead. God, the later Knight's Cavalries are going to be so brutal. I still don't know if the rain actually, like, hurts your damage. The problem is it's always raining here. I think it's always raining here. I mean, it's literally called the Weeping Peninsula. You would think it would be. So, but, like, there's no way to test whether or not rain is, uh, affecting your damage here, because it's always raining. You have to go somewhere where it's not always raining, which is not here. Or the Dragon Barrel. I think it always rains in the Dragon Barrel. Nice. I feel like that did no extra damage. Sack Axe. Honestly, that axe might have worse range than this torch does. The range in that is really bad on that axe. It's more of a hatchet. I enjoyed using it, though. I used it for a run. Did a run with it. So we need, what, two more Stone Sword Keys? Wait. I used two, so I need one more. Hmm. I picked up the bridge one. What else did I pick up? Can't remember. Oh, the one in the Agil Lake ruins. Dragonbird ruins. Pick that one up. Go up the ladder. Save me, boys. Save me. Oh my god. That's crazy. Your planet needs you? Alright, man. Good luck saving the world. I believe in you. Do not think I can level. No, 5k shy. What am I at? 103? 101. How am I in golden seeds? Do I have zero? I have two. Okay. Do not remember what two, to be honest. Probably one from the ulcerated tree spirit, and then the other one I have no idea. Unless you get two from the ulcerated tree spirit, in which case, I have two from the ulcerated tree spirit. Did I grab the... I don't know if I got the one in... Um, where is it? The weeping. Where we are. What's the name of the place that we're in? Weeping Peninsula. Well, Castle Morin, but still. Part of Weeping Peninsula. I am Weeping Peninsula. Damn, I was trying to just... Oh, I actually did poise through that, I think, and I got my Charge R2 off. Thank you, poise. Cool. All right, we're going up there, here. So we got seven more bosses in Weeping, and then we're going back to Limgrave. So this is run 56? I think it's 56. No, 57? Damn. Giza's wheel will be 58. We're almost at 60. Well, probably, like, by the time Elden Ring DLC hits, I'm guessing I'll be, like, probably not at 70, but maybe close. And 70 is, like, uh, you know, almost a quarter of the way through what there is now. But I also have to go back to all these runs. One level, more endurance. I wonder if the DLC will get delayed. I feel like DLC never gets delayed for, like, anything. Has there ever been a case of DLC getting delayed and that anyone can think of? Because I can't think of one. Maybe Cyberpunk. I don't know. <laughs> Cyberpunk would be a game to delay its DLC. It delayed the main game, like, twice. 
two or three times, I don't remember. Silk Song. Silk Song's weird because it was supposed to be a DLC, and then it just kind of turned into another game. And that's the last thing we heard of it. Well, I guess they updated the Xbox page yesterday for Silk Song. People were like, oh, that means something's happening, surely. False hope. Please hit the imps. Coming from you, buddy. That was not supposed to be a roll. It's supposed to be an R2, but I think I just fat fingered somehow. Or let go of uh, the run button and then hit it again accidentally. Don't really know. guy's doing his best torch impersonation. Past the five hour mark in Persona, probably like 75 more to go. Probably. Those are long games. Whoa, where the heck am I going? Is that right? Oh, it is right. 